Jonathan Conricus, former IDS spokesperson and now with the Foundation for the Defense of Democracies, Jonathan joins us this morning here in New York City. The Hamas, Hamas wants a permanent ceasefire. That's a non-starter, isn't it? It's a non-starter because a permanent ceasefire means that Hamas wins oh. and uh, that they get away with massacring more than 1,000 Israeli civilians on the 7th of October. And that isn't going to happen. Do you think they will ever give up their hostages? Because that's their best tool, that's their best weapon. Well, for the sake of civilians in Gaza and for the sake of the future of the Gaza Strip, that would be the best thing to do because that would most likely end the war if Hamas surrendered unconditionally and handed over our hostages, 134 of them, most of them still alive. If they do that, then that would probably end the war and it would save a lot of bombs, a lot of killing, a lot of starving people and a lot of unnecessary suffering. You don't think they'll do it, do you? I do not think that they'll do it. I think that this is what they calculated all along. The only thing that they perhaps didn't calculate was the strength of Israeli resolve and the fact that despite the fact that they took 240 hostages, we still went in, we still attacked them and we remain committed to dismantling Hamas and making sure that they won't govern the Gaza Strip ever again. In the face of world public opinion, which is frequently against Israel, and in the face of pressure from our administration here to stop the fighting in Gaza, can you resist those calls? Can you keep at the job of going after Hamas? Yes, I don't think that Israel has a choice. And I think that what Israel needs to be doing slightly better is to communicate the efforts that it is doing in order to care for non-combatants on the battlefield. And I think it would be wise and a good thing to do to build a humanitarian zone under Israeli control and make sure that the Palestinians who are stuck in Rafah are evacuated there and then force the UN organizations that are supposed to be doing that from the beginning to actually join in with the Israeli plan, evacuate civilians there, and then clear the way for the absolutely necessary last stage of the war, which is to go into Rafah, dismantle what's left of Hamas, and then start the next stage of rebuilding Gaza. Uh, at the State of the Union address tonight, I understand that some Democrats have invited pro-Hamas people to sit with them and watch the performance. They are likely to interrupt and to try to disturb and dist disturb the, the proceedings. What's your response to that? These people are enemies of America. They hate Israel, but I think that they hate America just as much. And I think that's very questionable to have people like this in the, the greatest country and uh, when the State of the Union is uh, being addressed. Uh, I hope that they won't be able to do so, and I hope that they'll be ashamed for disrupting this, those proceedings. I also know that there will be families of Israeli hostages right. there, uh, and I'm glad to see that Amer American legislators are keeping that close to heart. Jonathan Conricus from the Foundation for Defense of Democracies, plural. Good stuff. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank sir. you, sir. Please come back. Thank you.